Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has dropped out of the 2024 presidential race and endorsed Donald Trump. He quit ahead of the Republican primary election in New Hampshire, where he was pulling in the single digits. DeSantis was once considered a strong contender for the party's nomination, but on Sunday, he said he did not have a clear path to victory. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. I'm proud to have delivered on 100% of my promises, and I will not stop now. Miss Nikki Haley, Mr. Trump's last remaining challenger, said she was the only one able to beat U.S. President Joe Biden. Miss Haley will go head to head with Mr. Trump in New Hampshire on Tuesday, the second in a series of state by state contests to pick a Republican nominee for the November general election. In a nearly five minute long video on X, formerly known as Twitter, released on Sunday afternoon, Mr. DeSantis said his campaign had left it all out on the field. The Florida governor said he was endorsing Mr. Trump, who is the clear front runner after winning the first contest in Iowa with 51% of the vote. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. They watch his presidency get stymied by relentless resistance, and they see Democrats using lawfare this day to attack him. Well, I've had disagreements with Donald Trump, such as on the coronavirus pandemic and his elevation of Anthony Fauci. Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. That is clear. I signed a pledge to support the Republican nominee, and I will honor that pledge. Thank you. Thank you. There were loud cheers when Trump made his first comment about Mr. DeSantis' withdrawal and endorsement to a room in New Hampshire full of supporters on Sunday afternoon. Really terrific person who had gotten to know his wife, Casey, for having run a great campaign for president. He did. He ran a, a really good campaign, I will tell you. It's not easy. They think it's easy doing this stuff, right? It's not easy. But as you know, he left the campaign trail today at 3 p.m. And in so doing, he was very gracious and he endorsed me. So I appreciate it. The Trump campaign called on all Republicans to rally behind Mr. Trump, slamming his former UN ambassador as a candidate of the globalists and Democrats who will do everything to stop American first movement. So if you want a losing candidate who puts America last, vote for Nikki Haley. Ms. Haley, the former South Carolina governor, responded by insisting she was the conservative candidate, the only one who could beat. But for now, I'll leave you with this. May the best win.